got the thumbnail. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so today I wanted to do a video talking about designer sunglasses. I've had so many sunglasses that I've had over the years. And there, I think one of the reasons why I've been able to hold on to these glasses for so long is because I kind of kept um, staple pieces, um, staple styles, and they've been able to transcend over time. So yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why I've been able to keep these sunglasses for so long. I have a huge bag of luxury sunglasses right here that I'm gonna go through. I'm also gonna give you the plug cause I'm an older child and I don't be feeling like paying $400, $500 for certain sunglasses. So I know a couple of websites where I can get designer sunglasses for um, authentic designer sunglasses um, that are at luxury retail stores that you can actually go to or shop online. So I will list some of them. Um, I'll go through where I got some of them, those sunglasses as well. And yeah, so let's jump right in. So starting off, one of my favorite brands um, that I've grown to love over time is Chloe. Chloe does really great sunglasses. They expensive, but they do really great um, sunglasses. And over the last couple of years, I would have to say the vibe of of Chloe is that 70s look. If you know anything about the 70s era, it's kind of like that hippie vibe, a lot of neutrals, um, and then also it's like oversized sunglasses. So that's kind of why I love Chloe sunglasses. I highly recommend them. And some of them, if you want to get a good pair of like retro 70s sunglasses i recommend going to chloe a lot of the sunglasses come in a box like this and then it also comes in the case i have like a lot of different chloe ones i didn't bring all of my um, cases and stuff but this is how a lot of the cases come and then these are um, a retro oversized pair that I have. I actually got these for a really great price. I got these off of Nordstrom Rack, which I highly recommend shopping off of Nordstrom Rack because I've, I've recently started shopping. I, before, prior, I was buying sunglasses at full price, but after going on the Nordstrom Rack, I'm like, I will be going on there to get most of my glasses, especially Chloe. They have a lot of Chloe glasses on there. So I highly recommend it. This is an oversized look, which will never go out of style. An oversized sunglass will never go out of style. So that is like one of the things that I kind of gravitate to. Like, I know this will never go out of style. I'd rather buy this in a designer because the quality is gonna be good. I'm gonna have it for a while and then also it is a designer brand that I actually love. Another pair of Chloe is another oversized and it's again, it's that 70s aesthetic. And these are, I believe these are called the Carolina. I'll name the, the style of it um, below just in case if it's not. It's either Coralina or Carolina. But yeah, these are another over, oversized style. Very 70s, very retro, but it still has a modern twist to it. I love the detail on the side. Yep, and that is the Chloe Carolinas. Got the thumbnail. <laughs> okay, so that is that. I have a two more pair of Chloe sunglasses. I actually have another pair right there in my car, but this is another thing, aviators. Aviators are never gonna go out of style. So 
this has a little twist on it sorry excuse my sunglasses if they're kind of dirty but this is the aviator with a little modern twist with the circle in the center and then yeah the tinted frames i like these because i do like the porsche glasses but i don't know i think this was it has a bit of a, a twist to it that i like so yeah these aviators never gonna go out of style has that 70s vibe too um but it still has that modern look i could still wear it today and you won't be like what are you doing so aviators i have another pair of chloe and these are a basic i would say a basic aviator just more toned down very small minimum and this also gives me this is 70s vibe as well tinted frame i love these as well really cute but like i said aviators you can never go out of style with this um and i tend if you're gonna do it because i do have a pair of uh, free people aviators and they are cute but they are cheap girl like they be falling off my face because it doesn't have any weight to it these have weight they're not going anywhere these are great quality and i actually got these on sale at um nordstrom rack so like i said highly recommend aviators oversized 70 style they never go out of style that's the kind of style you want to kind of stick to when you're going with a, a designer um, brand just stick to the staples of an era you know that's not really going to be a miss so yeah okay jumping back to aviators I have a pair these are old y'all don't come for me okay don't come for me I have a pair of Valentino look at the case the case is so old it's so old listen I, I keep myself I don't know why it did this because I kept it in a bag another dust bag and it just peeled off because that's how old it is um these are at least over 15 years old um, but these are aviators and these are kind of like an embellished aviator so aviator but it has like the embellished butterflies on the side and these will forever be a staple that I can pull out I I got these I think in like 2004 and like i still can wear these today and there's even a black owned business um a sunglasses brand i think it's naroda she has i think it's a woman that owns the company but she has a pair that i'm like interested in getting and they're on sale right now so i'm like girl girl but hers i think rick ross was the one who was wearing the glasses but they're an aviator and they have like an embellished b in the center and like those glasses you're going to be able to wear those glasses 20 years from now i promise you so these are similar an aviator with embellishment you're never it's never going to go out of style and these are by valentino these are very old i don't even think they have like a reintroduction to something like this but i will try to link it below if they do but yeah these are the glasses great quality and highly recommend aviators with embellishment since we're still on aviators um i this is like a new brand and i i <laughs> I posted the first time I got these glasses in my vlog. If you haven't watched that, please watch that out. It's my it's a, my birthday vlog, my first ever vlog. And I was saying her name wrong. I don't even know. I know what her name is. I don't know why I kept saying it wrong. But um, Alyssa Johnson, she has a sunglass brand. If you don't know who Alyssa Johnson is, she is um, Magic Johnson's daughter. 
and she has a sunglass brand and it's actually really good i'm gonna put this in the luxury brand because she knew she started out and i feel like the quality is really good it actually is affordable so i highly recommend so this is the box that it came in and then um the packaging is super cute also comes in a case like this it also comes with a little sleeve like this and these are a basic black aviator with a tinted lens i highly recommend this is never going to go out of style years from now you're you're never gonna it's never going to miss a beat these are the jane fonda sunglasses they're actually just called jane and i believe she names it after jane because she is jane fonda birthday is on the same day as her birthday so she called her like that's her birthday twin but these are fire and it has like the let me take them off it has the e here let's see i don't know if you can see that and then the j E. Oh, it just has E. So it just has two E's. And then the inside it has like so yeah, these are super, super cute, super bomb. Like never going out of style. Worth the investment. Any designer sunglasses that is a aviator, black frame, and then tinted. I was about to say tinted windows, tinted frame is worth it. Um, I have another pair, which is in a different color, of course. I know these glasses are super dirty because I haven't worn them, but these, I showed these in my, my beat day vlog. Tortoise frame, purple lens, never going out of style. You can wear these forever. Um, great investment, any designer sunglasses that is like that. I recommend doing it and it's because I'm staying with a staple that I know that's never going to go out of style it's going to be worth the investment that you spend even if you are someone who um you want to spend four hundred dollars on glasses like for instance those low wave glasses is another it's like a twist on aviators i want them but i need the price to go down like i need it i need essence to put them on sale um i think they're called the abiza glasses if i'm not mistaken they have two different ones the oversized abiza is the one that i'm talking about they're like a old they're, they're kind of a, a different twist on an aviator those i really want those the other ones that kind of look like the 3d glasses those are cute too um i think they will, you can be able to keep those for a while as well. But I really want the the oversized abysses that look like aviators. So those are, that's Alyssa Johnson. Tenant Lens. Lexola. And I think I have to go get these because they're not in there. So Lexola, the box comes like this. Super cute really great packaging it says tools for the city and then i have the stuff like there okay so this is the sleeve that it comes in and it says luxola this is a great packaging um very durable and then the glasses um all of them comes with fiber cloth and then like wipe it off these are tinted i want to say this is also kind of a, a aviator maybe like a slim framed aviator with a flat top um yeah these this reminds me i just did a video about movies that i get inspiration from jawbreaker was the movies in the 90s and this was heavily styled in the 90s tinted uh lenses with like black frames this would be something that would be 
worn in the 90s or even Y2K, which is making a really big comeback right now. But yeah, these aren't going out of style. I will be able to keep these for a very long time. So I highly recommend this. Lexola, great brand. Um, and they often do sales when you sign up for their newsletter. They will send you get a notification once they stuff go on sale. So yeah, I highly recommend. Like I said, a tinted lens with black frames is not going to go out of style. So that's a good piece to invest in when it comes to like luxury um, sunglasses. And Lexola is a great brand as well. I have another like 70s inspired sun pair of sunglasses. And these are Dior. And these are Fire. They're, they're that 70s retro style. Nice little tinted lens, thin, thin bridges, I guess that's what you call it, thin bridge. Um, and then, yeah, it has like the CD, sorry, it's like really dirty, but I don't know if you can see that, but it has CD on the corner. It also has like a serial number on the side, and then um, on the side, it says CD. It probably isn't the best way to show it, but yeah, it says CD. These are vintage CD, and I actually got these off of Nordstrom Rack for a really great price. And I love these freaking sunglasses. They're really dope, and I highly recommend Nordstrom Rack. The way to go. Super cute. So that's like the 70s style, just an oval uh, frame. It's almost like it's, it does have a frame, but it's like very thin. So that's another thing. But yeah, this is forever. Christian Dior Vintage is, is, is going to be forever. And this oval size 70s style is going to be another forever piece that you, you'll you be able to invest in. And then, and then, like I said, get it for the low, low. Off the rack. Okay, so yeah great sunglasses now let's move into all black everything 